Hi everybody, my name is Renuka Narkarni. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Ariaka. At Ariaka, we are builders of unified SASE as a service. And today I want to talk to you about some of the trends, what we are hearing from customers, and how unified SASE as a service can solve some of these modern trends. Today we live in very, very interesting times because there are so many things around us that are changing. If you remember back in the day, users used to be in the office, applications were in the data center, and all the network decisions were based on this point-to-point -point connectivity between how do I connect my office to my data center applications. At the same time, the security decisions were based on I have a perimeter, I have all these technologies that I have on my perimeter, and, and you know everything was great. But as you saw in the last decade, applications moved to the public cloud. They are now delivered via SaaS. There is no more perimeter. Thanks to COVID, users are not working from the office anymore. They are dispersed. There's a very hybrid work environment. So today, we live in the world of a cloudified, hybrid, distributed environment where there are users everywhere and applications everywhere. So what needs to happen, and this is what we are hearing from our customers, is we need to revamp these network architectures. We need to modernize these network architectures. We need to think about security in a different way. Instead of the legacy, traditional, siloed, fragmented security that is you know, a very common, commonplace, which also is a reason why there are so many breaches and so many uh, in, you know, attacks and new attack surfaces, we need to figure out how can we modernize this infrastructure. So this infrastructure modernization is simply put an attempt to have connectivity with security for the users who are anywhere to the applications that are everywhere. So if you look at how SASE has evolved, it's really interesting. SASE is trying to solve this problem of networking and security integration. And it's almost like Nirvana because what it helps with is for customers to think about these modern network as well as security capabilities by integrating the networking services as well as security services. And that's where we are seeing a huge uptake and a lot of popularity because SASE solves that, that problem of agility, that problem of digital transformation that you know, customers are going through. So today there's a lot of ta talk about NAS. And what NAS is is really to meet these uh, changing needs of the customer and their uh, changing cus uh, consumption models to make it more as a service. So a lot of carriers are jumping in, uh, providing the legacy uh, technologies in as a service, but then using the software and technology from a partner or from a different vendor. This is something that we thought through as, a, as part of our architecture. And uh, with the underlay that we have developed, it is a combination of not just the, the, the network uh, from a carrier perspective, but also the software technology and the sophistication to make sure that you can actually do connectivity across, across the globe with not just the data plane, but also the monitoring systems, making sure that you can do troubleshooting. You can do that for hundreds of customers uh, at hundreds of sites that each of your customer may have. Finally, some food for thought in terms of what AI has done to our lives. Uh, as you can imagine, AI puts a lot of strain on the network infrastructure when we are transferring large amounts of data that require a very reliable connection through all the elements of the AI ecosystem. It also adds completely new attack surfaces that we had not thought about, because now it can make your secure web gateway completely irrelevant because somebody can go to the chat GPT and ask the question to summarize certain websites that were originally blocked for that user. And finally, today people are blind to what's happening in their network in terms of AI adoption. There are users who are accessing lots of different services uh, in the, which are AI enabled, and it immediately poses risk in terms of, is my data being leaked? Is my intellectual property going out? So not having that visibility and observability to what's going on in the network is super scary. So at Ariaka, we, we clearly solve these three problems. We ensure that when you adopt AI, we offer the best networking services. We make sure that it is secure. And then finally, we give full visibility and observability to the AI traffic that is going through your network.